in this video i will explain various shareholder ratios the major shareholder ratios are earnings per share ratio or earnings per share price earnings ratio or popularly called as price earnings multiple and dividend per share how will we are going to calculate these ratios now we will see earnings per share earnings per share that is eps equals to earnings available to equity shareholders in annual reports you can see it as ea e a e s that is earnings available to equity shareholders divided by number of shares outstanding number of shares outstanding in a sense are fully paid uh, shares so earnings per share equals to it is earnings available to equity shareholders earnings available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares Five point two six, five point two five two six is the EPS, and pull it to next years. Then price earnings ratio. Price earnings ratio compares earnings per share with market price. So, earnings price earning multiple equals to market price of a share. So, market price of a share is available only for a public. limited and listed companies so market price per share divided by earnings per share so already we calculated earnings per share so we take this value price earnings multiple is 45 price price earnings multiple is 45 times okay and in 2010 it is 20 times and uh, 2011 6 And five, and in two thousand thirteen it is four times. And now dividends per share. Dividends per share is DPS equals to dividends paid to shareholders divided by number of shares outstanding. Uh, this equals to dividends paid during the year in the year two thousand nine divided by number of shares outstanding in the year. So each share has been paid a dividend of two rupees in two thousand nine, and two rupees in two thousand ten, two point four in two thousand four, and three point two nine in two thousand twelve, and two point five nine or two point six rupees in two thousand thirteen. This is how we calculate dividends per share. <music>